and how amazing someone so awesome and this this great being that we always seem to feel so far from how amazing that I can come right here and be at his feet in in front of everyone and there's just there's such a freedom to be in Christ. Everyone thinks like, oh, because you're, you're tied down to, you have to go to church and you can't do this. This is where we come and we get filled and we get the tools for life and godliness. So just, just keep in mind, being in Christ and being a daughter of the Heavenly Father is not a way to keep you locked up and it's not a way to put you in a tower above everything just to watch. It's, it's to be free and get work accomplished, and you will be so blessed when everyone just comes and dives in and puts their affections. And when you put your heart that way, you'll see his heart as well. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, I'm going to share with you guys a little bit because I know not everybody in here knows Danielle. This is a blessing for me to see because I've... I've known Danielle since, what, junior high? You were in junior high? She was like 12. So I've seen, she's 18 now. I've seen her grow up in this area. And I've seen her come through a lot. And I've literally seen her push her way through the crowd to touch the hem of his garment. It, it's in the process now. I'm not, gonna, I'm not getting too personal, but the Lord's telling me to share this. This is a living testament to breaking free from the curse. This is a living testament to breaking free from the curse word spoken over her. And this is where we're going to start living our lives. Let me go ahead and share with you. I'm going to read the story that we most of us know about the woman with the issue of blood, the one that she just danced to and sang to. And I'm going to tell you the importance of speaking it out. And then I'm going to share with you the importance of pushing through and taking action to your words. Putting action to your words. I'm going to go to Matthew 9.20. You know what? I'm going to have... Um, I'm going to have some of you girls stand up and read that. Is that cool? Who has Bible? Okay. I'm going to... Do you guys mind if I pick you at random? Okay. I have a Bible too. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you guys on the spot and make you guys feel uncomfortable right now because it's necessary and the Holy Spirit's leading me in that direction. I'm not going to apologize for it because I know that he's going to do something. So, Matthew 9.20, um, okay, I'm going to ask, could you stand up and read it for me? Mm -hmm. Right now, the Holy Spirit's not a respecter of persons, he's picking that well. At he, as he wills, so. Read up to, um, just read to 322. Stop at 23. Okay, thank you. Do me a favor. Will you read 22? Or wait, will you read um, 21 for me just again? Just read that part only. Okay, thank you. Okay, we're going to go to Mark 5 now. 525. Shyla, could you stand up and read this for me? In 
read it through 34. Thank you. And then we'll go to Luke eight forty three. Jessica, could you read this forty three through forty eight? Please. subject to bleeding for 12 years, but no one could heal her. <clears throat> she came up behind him and touched the edge of his coat, and immediately her bleeding stopped. Who touched me? Jesus asked. When they all denied it, Peter said, Master, the people are crowding and pressing against you. But Jesus said, Someone touched me. I know that power has gone out from me. Then the woman, seeing that she could not go unnoticed, came trembling and fell at her feet. In the presence of all the people, she told why she had touched him and felt him. She had been instantly healed. Then he said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. I had each of you stand up and read that because we had to speak it out. And I have the New King James Version. And I'm going to read, well, from in Luke right here, it says, um, when he said, somebody touch me, for I perceive power going from going out from me. Now when that woman saw that she was not hidden, she came trembling and falling down before him. And she declared to him the presence of all the people, the reason she had touched him, and how she was healed. She declared how she was healed. She didn't just say, oh, I was healed. She declared it. And each of this, and, and, and the New King James, and I wanted to see because everybody has different translations. She said, she declared, she she told, she spoke it out with fear and trembling, full of shame. She pressed through and declared her healing, declared what she had just received. And she declared it, she spoke it out into existence. Because that moment, it became very real to her. And he felt it go away. Now, why? let's get to this. Why did he feel it go away? What was he very aware of? He was always aware of the power. He was always aware of the Holy Spirit. Now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna tell you guys. Let's go to let's go to Isaiah 64 real quick. These bookmarks do not work for me. Oh, where is it? Okay. Isaiah 64, 1. Oh, that you would rend the heavens, that you would come down, that the mountains might shake at your presence. Now, let's go from Isaiah to Matthew three sixteen. 